Several years ago, I did a presentation with a food historian, Mimo from Naples. Got up in the morning, and Mimo was making a cup of coffee. He had a little pocket scale. He weighed out the beans to the gram, and he took the temperature of the water. He ground the beans by hand. He made this cup of coffee. It took him about 20 minutes. And then when he made the coffee, he held it up to the light and he looked at it. He smelled it, and then he drank it. I said, Mimo, you know. If you were an American, you would have just put the Keurig cartridge into the machine, push the button, and you'd have a cup of coffee in 20 seconds. And he said that's because Americans consume like sharks. They move forward with their mouths opening, and they never really think about the food and how it got there. When we consume anything, we should think of everything that it took for that food to get to the plate or to the cup. By the time that food gets to the plate. A lot of things had to go right, and if you think about all of those things, you don't have to consume as much, and you'll still be satisfied. But if you don't think about it, if you move forward like a shark moving your mouth, you're never satisfied. And as pizza makers or as chefs, that's really what we're looking for. We want you to not just eat it and say, "Oh, this is good" or "This is bad" or "I like this" or "I don't like it." We want you to think about the food. What's the story? What are the, what are the voices behind this food?